Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Devang, and in this video, we will try to solve this question: uh, flip string to a monotone increasing. This question is basically from Lead Code, and it is question number nine twenty six. Basically, this question involves dynamic programming, but we will try to see its solution without dynamic programming, and uh, we will try to solve this question basic on the on the general approaches. Okay. So let's read out the question first. The question states that we are given a binary string, and a binary string is a monotone increasing if it consists of some number zeros, some number of zeros, followed by some number of ones. It can be possible enough. What does that mean? That after one we cannot have any zero. Basically, this is the gist of the question. After one we cannot have zero. We can have zeros before one. The number can be of any. The number can be any, but after one we cannot have zero. This is what question states. So we are saying that it is saying that we are you are given a binary string. You can flip as of i. That is from zero you can convert it to one, and one you can convert it to zero. What we have to do? We have to return the minimum number of flips to make as monotone increasing. Okay, so we have to uh, emphasize on this part of the question. We have to emphasize like this thing. We are saying to return the minimum number of flips. We are saying to return the minimum number of flips so that we can just uh, make the string the monotone increasing one. Okay. So before uh, proceeding any further, let us think like how a string can be used. For example, if we have zero, one, one, zero, so we can write it as one, one, zero, right? We can write it as one, one, zero. This has no significance because it would be multiplied by zero. Actually, this. uh this one can be in neglected one like 0000010 should would remain 10 yeah right. we can just neglect this part of the string first point is that first point is that we can neglect the this part of the string second point we will just analyze by seeing the questions for example if we have this question let's say we are considering this example it is say triple 0 uh, double 1 and triple 0 so this is the Binary string given to us. There are two possibilities for this. There, there are basically two possibilities to convert this to the monotone increasing. What are the two possibilities? The first one is this. The first one is this. That either we can convert it to zero. Either we can just zero 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 one zero 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 zero. Like first one, first inconsistency is this. First inconsistency is this one. First in inconsistency is this one. Another inconsistency is again this one. By changing, we had got another inconsistency. So let us change that. What we will get? We will basically get. Let us change this one also. So we will get zero 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 zero. So this is one possibility. This is one possibility that is changing this both ones to zero. This is one possibility. In this number of changes will be two. Number of flips basically number of flips will be two. Now another possibility is that uh, we are having triple zero, double one, triple zero. Another possibility will be to change the whole string to one. So that is one, 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 one. In this we have to make th in this. Let me just highlight this part. In this we have to make these three changes plus these three changes, and the output would be six flips. The output would be six flips. But we have to make the minimum possible flips. We have to make the minimum possible flips. So this is what question states. Okay. So I hope you get the question clearly. Now we will see the solution of it once. Firstly, uh, we will try to, you know, solve this question, and uh, then we will code this. So I I recommend you to pause this video over here and try to think of the solution once, and we will just code it now. Okay, so here is the intuition behind this question. Here is the intuition behind this question. Now let us try to analyze the string. Example, we have given one zero. Let us say that this is the binary string given to us. This is not a valid one. This is not a monotone increasing. Why? Because we are having one zero. We are having one zero after one. So to make it, we have two possible options. One is one one. Another one is zero zero. Both are valid. Both are valid. In both cases, number of flips are number of flips are one. So basically, we can say that uh, the minimum number of flips are one. Let's see another example, which is one one zero one one zero. 
now this part is valid this part is valid but this part is not valid so there are two possibilities again either we can change the whole string to 0 0 0 or we can change the 1 uh, 0 to 1 so in this case basically in this case we would make one flip we would make one flip and in this we would make two flips so answer would be minimum of these answer would be minimum of these answer would be minimum of these that is one flip that is one flip perfect now let's try to think of this string 0 1 1 uh, 0 1 1 0 now here this part is correct this part is correct this part is causing some problem and this part is causing some problem so there are two possibilities actually what we can do we can just change the whole string or, or we can convert this one to zero let us try to do this one 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 this is the valid of valid string okay so in this way we can just solve this question in big o of one in big o of one traversal let us try to dry run first of all our approach and then i will just move to the code one example for example we are having this uh, question which is 0 1 0 1 1 0 so let us take initially the number of ones the number of ones in the string as 0 the number of ones in the string as 0 and the number of changes which we need to make as 0 <coughs> the number of ones are 0 and the number of changes which we need to make are 0 so firstly i just said in the earlier part of the video that this can be considered as this 1 0 1 1 0 okay so what is the algorithm my algorithm is to scan the string from left to right to scan the string from left to right hai na? if we encounter if we encounter any one any one which is one number then we will increase the number of ones then we will increase the number of ones the number of ones if we encounter if we encounter <coughs> any zero if we encounter any zero then we will check then we will check that is this that uh, is this after any one is this after one is this after one if yes if yes then I will increase my change count then I will uh, let me write over then I will increase my change count increase my change count so as I said in the earlier part of the video example for it there we are having number of ones number of ones is equals to 2 we having we are having number of ones is equal to 2 and number of changes is equals to 1 because this is only the one so either we can change the number of tools or I can we can go on with the changes so minimum minimum of those will be the answer minimum of those will be my answer will be my answer basically let me just code it once let me just show you the code once then we will understand it more perfectly okay okay so this is the code of the that question this is a small code what we did we just uh, initialize the size of the my string in the integer actually this is not required this is not required I mean you can skip that but I just made it once so initially we took the number of ones as zero we took the number of ones as zero the number of ones in the given string the number of ones in the given string okay this is the number of ones then i'm having another variable which is changes that means the zeros the zeros that should be changed to one that should be changed to one if they are present after one if they are present after the digit one after the digit one then we have to change them then what i did i basically traversed my uh, string with the help of a for each loop with the help of for each loop and what i did i basically checked that if my character present in the string is zero if my character present in the string is zero then uh, if number of zeros is equals to one what i did do nothing that means that if uh, let let's take the example of this string 0 0 0 1 0 now basically my character is 0 but before that there is no one present there is no digit one present so these are just we can neglect this part 
we can neglect this part as i said to so to neglect this part i just use this video i just use this this loop so this loop is for to neglect to neglect the initial zeros to neglect the initial zeros this part is for that else if for if for example if we are having one if we are not having zero uh, let's say that uh, the number of ones let's say that this is the part this is the part we are having one of the one and there is the number of ones is not equal to zero and we are proceeding a zero we are founding a zero basically we found a zero after a one after a one so that means we have to change this so i did change this plus plus else if my c is one if my character is one then increase the number of ones increase the number of ones and in the last we are just using either change all the one to zero or change zero to one so this is that part i wrote here right that we have to choose the minimum ones so we choose minimum of changes and the number of ones and in the end we return the changes so this is the simple code which was required in the question this can be also done with the help of dynamic programming but uh, as the constraints are small which are only 10 to the power 5 uh, and uh, we can just solve this with the help of we go up and traverse it. I hope you understood the question and the code as well. If you have any doubt, make sure to comment it out and uh, we will meet in the next part of the video. Okay, till then, bye bye.